Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, uh, since we've been in lockdown, I've been doing a lot of shopping. And I mean a lot of fucking shopping. Oh. And today we're gonna check out my latest addiction, Super Plastic. Alright guys, so today we're gonna open up 20 super plastic vinyl statues. Uh, I'm excited as hell to do this, guys. Because, like I said, uh, since we've been on lockdown, I've done nothing but spend money on super plastic and kick it with my wife. And uh, it's been, honestly, a blast. Uh, a lot of people are having a hard time. And for you guys, I, I feel for you, but I'm honestly kicking it and things have been pretty sick over here. So uh, let's get right into this. Let's open these things up. I'm so excited to talk about them. It's gonna be a little bit of a longer video, but I hope you guys enjoy. Um, but here we go. All right, guys, so we're gonna start off with Hench. This is by an artist named P. Fowler. It's right there on the bottom of the box. Uh, but yeah, with a lot of these, I actually got lucky and was able to get them on retailer websites before they sold out. So, pretty sick. Uh, this one, oh, so with a lot of these, there's uh, it's like the same boxes, but different colorways on the inside. So this one is the Glow in the Dark Hench. <laughs> this thing is so cool. Oh, I love it. And he's got his uh, silver grill in. This thing's badass. So let's open up all of them so we can check them all out together. So cool. He's got the yeah on the back of his jacket. So sick. I honestly considered not collecting these ones at first. This is like one of the last ones that I took the dive on and started buying. Um, because I just, I wasn't crazy about them, but the more I looked at them, I was like, damn, those are kind of sick. So there's, there's other super plastic, um, characters that I haven't picked up, but, uh, they might go the same way as Hench and be one of those things where at first I don't want them. And then I'm like, oh man, I just got to do it. Cause, uh, as you'll see throughout this video, I, I wanted to start off by just doing, uh, gloomy, which you guys have seen me open up one of in a previous video, but, um, it, it it quickly changed <laughs> to be a lot more than just that. Oh, honestly, this one's my favorite one. So this one, this is cool. The back of the jacket has like a research crew. And then there's like this sweet like pink and like purple ombre going on on the, on the skin tone. The shoes say not me on the back. And look at how fucking rad these are so these are all the hench all these guys right here so i'm actually going to do a completely separate video guys where i show you um how i put these around my house and how i decorate my place with them so these are all just going to be like an oh this one this video is going to be just an overall opening of everything and then uh probably later on this week or next week i'll send i'll show you guys another video of how i decorated my house with these things and where i put them up and stuff like that Next up are the Crankies spine artist named Sket One. Um, honestly, these were another one of those where I was like, at first, eh, I'm not crazy about them. Not probably not going to collect them, and then I decided to, you know, bite the bullet and just jump down on it. Because honestly, they're pretty cool. I mean, they're definitely fun, and a lot of people have been picking these up, uh, especially when I show you guys the next colorway. It was like the hottest one that everybody was getting. These are cool because I mean, they have like the whole spray can vibe on there. It's pretty sick. You can't push down a thing. <laughs> but yeah, uh, and these come in like, I think there's like six different colors now. So uh, I only have two of them and we'll uh, have to slowly get the rest of them. This colorway was crazy popular. This thing went on sale and sold out uh, within just a couple days on the Super Plastic website. But if you guys are seeing anything you like, just gotta hunt around the internet. I mean, there's there's a couple websites where I found things where I'm like, that has been sold out on Super Plastic for a while, and then I was able to pick it up. So this is the uh, Icy Grape colorway of the uh, Cranky. I don't think I said that what the name of these are, but yeah, they're, they're called Crankies. These things are pretty badass. Uh, some of my personal favorites because it looks like they're wearing Air Max 90s, and I don't know if you know, but that's my favorite shoe silhouette of all time. So I got the Jungle Green and the Icy Grape Cranky. All right, up next are some that I was actually thoroughly surprised to find uh, around the internet. And these are uh, Super Jankies 
by an artist named Ad Fuel. His name's right there on the bottom of these. Pretty sweet. Uh, and these are like the only ones that don't really show the the actual uh, character on the outside. And a couple of these I already opened up beforehand, guys, just to make sure they were all good. As you know, if I buy stuff on like eBay and things like that, um, I like to make sure that I fill out all of my... Damn you, Alexa. Oh, wow, this is like a crazy gloss on it. Uh, fill out my feedback and all that in a timely manner. So uh, these ones I got from a retailer, and honestly, I don't remember where. Um, I've been buying like it's so many of these things that it doesn't all uh, <laughs> compute in my brain. But this is pretty cool. This is the uh, this one in particular is the Burnt AF edition of the Ad Fuel Super Janky, and it comes with this uh, cool little like it's like a little like art print square that it holds in his hand. It's pretty sweet. So toss that right in the hand, and then. We'll uh, pull this other one out. This one's, I mean, kind of in a, kind of different from the others because they typically have like a matte finish to them. And these ones are really, I mean, at least this one is really glossy. I've never seen it in person. So pretty cool to see what this looks like. Let's just fucking stab my hand. Yo, if you guys like the new video setup or like this setup in particular, Go ahead and hit the uh, thumbs up down below. Let me know if you, how you guys are feeling about it. Oh man, honestly, this might be my favorite one. These things are so sick. These are the uh, Super Jankies by Ad Fuel. Look at all those details on the back of the head, man. That thing is wild. So cool. The little heart details with the veins on the front. And then you got the, it's like the back of the rib cage on the back too. And then there's like the burnt AF one. Super sick. Honestly, really, really cool. These are, I, I think might be at least my favorites so far. Cause the glossy finish is so different from any of the other ones. So pretty excited. This is like the big version of the little fragile that comes in like the, the three inches. Cause it still has the fragile on the knuckles. It's pretty sick. Honestly, I like that like Ad Fuel's artwork is, you can tell that it's his shit, you know? It's pretty cool. Up next are uh, these two cuties by Grand Chamaco. Pretty badass, I'm excited. These ones are another one that I picked up because, um, well, number one, uh, Super Plastic was going through this like phase where they were having a bunch of sales. And so a bunch of stuff was like half off. That was like, in the time frame that I bought my case of three inches, or I'm sorry, both my cases of the three inch these twos. And then, um, and then I also like the next week they started, they did a bunch of other sales where it was like random items were like half off. So it's pretty badass. This one, I got both of these. It was like two for the price of one. Pretty cool. So here are these ones are. These like have mad kawaii vibes. They're like prickly little things and they got like the smiley little flower on the top of the ear over here. It's pretty cute. There's the, the red one on top of the green. And then the single eye vibes. Uh, this same artist did another set that I'll throw a picture up of right here on the screen. And uh, those ones I'll probably eventually pick up too, but they were just weren't as easily accessible and I didn't find like, um, I don't know, uh, every other piece that you're gonna see in this video, I had like way more of a drive to pick up before I did those. So here's these ones and we're gonna keep moving forward. All right, moving on, this one is, uh, it's called Oh No and the artist is Macbeth. I guess they, I guess a bunch of them say Janky Say Relax. So this one also says Janky Say Relax, pretty cool. This one I haven't pulled out yet. I'm excited to see it. Oh man, traditional tattoo vibes. I don't know if you guys know this. Maybe you can tell, but um, big fan of traditional tattoos. And this is so sick. Oh, here's the front of that guy right there. Got a sweet like crow vibe on the back of the head there. The oh no on the uh, front of the shoes and the oh well on the back. 
The details on these are insane, and that was another reason why I, uh, I, I really gravitated towards Super Plastics. The details on these are so sick, and they're, like, the quality is great. It's definitely, like, you definitely feel the $80 that you would spend on these in terms of quality. And I know some of the some of the older ones were retailing only around like 65-ish, right around there. But a lot of the newer ones are hitting right around like 85, 90. But definitely wouldn't be mad to spend $90 retail on these because the all of the details are so sick. I love that, the aw shit on his chest belly area. So sick. But yeah, this is probably one of my favorite ones. There's also a blackout version of this. It's right here on the other side of the box. Uh, this one I'm definitely gonna have to hunt down, but it's that one was like significantly more difficult to find than the white one. So eventually I'll have it, but for now, got this one. We're gonna move forward. All right, so this next one we're gonna open up is by an artist named Jor Ross. And uh, these, um, I'm sure you recognize them because there's the three inch version in a couple different colorways that, oh, there goes his little bat. Um, but the three inch version in a couple of colorways in the uh, series two um, mini jankies. So it's pretty cool. I had to pick this up. This was part of a, a haul that I got. I, I picked up like three from one person and I was already buying two from him and uh, he sent me a picture and was like, yo, any of these other ones that you're interested in? I saw it, he gave it to me for a good price. So I ran with it. Not gonna show you guys too much of this one because you've seen it before, just in a different colorway. Pretty badass though. Definitely excited to add it to the collection. It's gonna go right next to the other two. Um, I have several uh, doubles of the of the three inch ones, so it'll be easy to have them in a couple different places around the crib. This next one, in terms of paint, is possibly my favorite. So this is a uh, Crocodilius by James Groman. And the reason why I like this one so much is because they put so many cool details into this. I mean, look at the teeth on the whiskers. So sick. And then all the, the painted scales are so badass. All the details here in the face. I mean, honestly, one of my favorites. They definitely use the shape of the janky to the best of their abilities with the eyes up here on the on the ear pieces, super sick. The teeth on the whiskers, probably my favorite part of it. Uh, and as you guys know, I love when it has a little butt and this one has a little butt back there, super cute. <laughs> um, the, um, honestly, probably one of my favorites. Um, James Groman did a couple of a uh, couple of the three inches and I love those ones too. They were like little tiger looking guys. And I, I love those. I love this one. So he does some pretty cool animal stuff. I can't wait to see if he does more because this thing is really, really badass. Probably wouldn't happen for a long while, but it would be cool to see something in series three of the three inches from him. All right, guys, up next is the, uh, I believe this is like the fashion line. Um, these are, ever since they've sold out, skyrocketed. These are the ones that are like hitting for a ton on all the Facebook groups, hitting for a ton on eBay. I'm um, pretty excited that I was able to get this one for retail uh, because I'm pretty sure it was the last one the website had. So this particular one is the uh, Fashion Horror by Gugamon. And I love this one because it's got all the cute little accessories, man. This is really, really cool. And like I said, I got really lucky and was able to get this for retail because now they're hitting for well over 200 bucks. Um, there's one, whoops. There's one that I still need and uh, that one I'm probably gonna have to cash out on, which is cool because I feel like I've gotten such good deals on most of these that Having to cash out on a couple of them isn't so bad. Uh, I would definitely not be stoked if I had to drop $200 on all of these. So being able to get a couple of them for retail and then only cash out on a few is, is nice. The little accessories are so sick. This is the little mask. <laughs> Pretty much all the Gugumon stuff has like these cool little masks. She's so miserable. Uh, but yeah, so this one comes with the, the mask. <laughs> comes with a cool little bag. The Googie bag. And then the axe. 
with the uh, off-white vibes. Super badass. This thing's cool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's why they call it the fashion one because he's basically wearing Yeezys and uh, rocking, you know, a off-white axe and a, a Gucci googie bag. So this one's pretty cool. Let's put all these accessories on here and check it out. So I'm pretty sure that when I display this, I'm just going to have the bag sit behind it because there's no way it'll sit in the hand like that. But man, this thing is so fucking cool. Honestly, one of my favorites. I love this like light pastel pink color of the majority of the figure. And like, I think that Super Plastic does a great job of capturing the essence and the vibe of a sneaker without having to make it look exactly like a sneaker. So these look exact. I mean, like they look pretty similar to Wave Runners. I think it would be hard to argue that they are not supposed to look like Wave Runners. So pretty cool that it, uh, it looks like that and the camo bag with the Gucci vibes. Super badass. So moving on. All right, so this one is the Fashion Googie by Gugamon. And I guess I got this one. Oh yeah, I got this one for retail also. Right, right um, at the same time that I got the uh, Fashion Janky. This thing is same kind of idea. Has Outfit vibes, pretty badass. Looks like he's wearing like off-white shoes with the stripes. It's pretty sick. I I love Gugumon's hand tattoo. Thing is so badass with the little googie head with the axe, uh, the cross axis. So let's put this all together and check it out. All right, cool. So this one, when it's all put together, looks like this. Pretty cool. The Googie bag over here, the Walt axe. Uh, maybe someone can fill me in. I'm not sure why it says Walt, maybe like a Walt Disney vibe. Let me know down in the comments if you know what's up with that. He's got the shoes looking like a mixture of like Revenge Storms and uh, some off-white vibes. So pretty cool. Honestly, I, I love these fashion ones. These are really cool. I mean, everybody probably knows by now that I came from the sneaker world when it comes to collecting and uh, Seeing that prod into vinyl toys is pretty badass in my opinion. I'm excited. So this one is actually just a pretty similar uh, addition to that last um, Fashion Googie. And this is the Fashion Googie Club Edition. This one I did buy. Is it really not good for real? Doesn't have any of the accessories. All right, we're down to the final five. Um, let's do these ones. So these are actually my favorite before I um, got too deep into super plastic. Still probably are my favorite. And I made a video about this before. I'll link that down in the description about how much I enjoy these gloomies. And I opened this one up, this cool glow in the dark one here. Um, but I was able to finish the, glo the gloomy collection. Uh, this one's the white one. Let's crack this open. We can put them all together and let the see. So these ones say janky was first. So probably just the gloomy say janky was first. Um, but yeah, get all these together, have a family reunion. I'm surrounded by boxes. So here's the white one. Honestly, so rad. I love the contrast of the, the red eyes on the white figure, so badass. All right, so here's this uh, white gloomy dragging his uh, his owner pity behind him. Uh, honestly, I just love the story of gloomy and gloomy bear and all that. And uh, I talked about it already in a previous video, but one of my favorite characters ever, Mori Chak, really killed it with those, and uh, that's why I had to get all four of the colors that have been released so far. So those are the white and glow ones. Here's the black version. So luckily I was able to get all the gloomies for, or all the gloomies except for one brand new and uh, for retail. And uh, we'll get into that other one <laughs> that we really had to cash out on after this. But man, this thing is so cool. I love the black, the contrast of the, of the red from the blood, 
Always Dragon Pity behind him. Super cool. I love the mask. Cannibal Lecter vibes. Uh, honest, that's one of the million reasons why it's my favorite character. Uh, love it. I hope they do more colorways. And this one was... This last one was like the biggest pain for me to find. Really had to hunt this one down. Uh, ended up being the only one I really had to like cash out on, spend a bunch of money. And I wasn't even really that mad because it's like original colorway of Gloomy. Uh, super sick. Very excited to have it. And that is the pink one. This thing is so sick. Very, very excited to have it. And it's uh, it was a Kickstarter exclusive. So I'm not sure if Super Plastic's going to be doing this anymore because I think that they're kind of bigger than doing that. But uh, they have... They used to start their uh, all of their stuff on Kickstarter and get it crowdfunded, and this was part of that. And uh, this thing is still brand new. The person that I bought it from, uh, when they listed it, it was listed as brand new, and this pity is still in the wrapping. Still has the plastic on the mask that always comes right there on the front. And I feel like this is like one of the most sought after pieces right now. Everybody seems to be hunting this one down. They're going for crazy numbers on eBay and stuff like that. So very, very happy to have it in my collection. Had to jump on as soon as I saw it. So cool. Look at that guy. Adorable. Hates humans just like me. So it works out perfectly. Match made in heaven. <laughs> so I'll try to hold up as many of these as I can without <laughs> dropping all these pities. But here's here's two of the gloomies. And then here's the other two. Super sweet. I honestly couldn't couldn't think of any better colorways to have um, for these pieces. So I'm excited. These ones are gonna go right next to the front door be a pretty cool piece or when people walk in oh i just realized there's like differences in the pities too so this one's like a blue on the white one it's like a blue kind of vibe with the blood on yeah it's the same one on the glow the blue with the blood and then on the black one it's like a caucasian with the, with the blood and then on this one it's the same skin but he's not bloody he's just kind of beat up different facial expression there so pretty cool these are sweet it's cool to watch like the little uh the little uh evolution of gloomy and pity and <laughs> their friendship so um we got three more things to open this one's a little bit of a bonus uh when i bought my pink gloomy it came with this uh, king janky now i haven't gotten into collecting the king jankies yet um but they're just they're very very similar to the blind boxes that we've done on several videos uh open these guys up and yeah i haven't gotten into collecting the king jankies yet but honestly i feel like eventually it's it's a very high probability honestly i'm just i just love that it comes with this crown because you can put the crown on any of the three inch uh, jankies. So, I don't know, maybe that would look kind of cool on, uh, on on another one. So there he is with all the little accessories. Super cute one. Uh, I haven't gotten into collecting the King Jankies yet. I don't know if I will, uh, I probably will, who knows. Uh, once I collect everything else and I'm all set on those, then I'll probably take the dive into King Janky. So, pretty cool. Final two. These ones are sick. These are the uh, larger Gugimon. Uh, and there's three of them total. I ordered the other one, but it's coming from Australia. So it's probably not going to be here for a couple weeks. And I didn't want to wait any longer to do this video because I've been collecting these probably over the past month to knock out this video for you guys. And um, yeah, so these ones are pretty badass also. Uh, I did these last because they're my little brother's favorite. And he's here helping me with the video. Thank you, Devin. <laughs> but yeah these things are sick oh as always i mean i'm a sucker for accessories and these ones come just like the um fashion ones come with you know the little googie bag and the axe and uh cool mask so let's pull these out put it all together check them out look at how funny his face looks and not the mask on. i always thought that was funny even when i got the three inch googies i was like why does your face look so goofy? 
So this colorway is called um, Work and Play. And he's got like the, the cute little uh, pink vibe on the upper with the camo bottoms. Super fucking adorable. <laughs> I love it. He's got like his fat little tummy. He's got his little little gut there. And like his stance is just like, I love it. It's so cool. So this is the work and play Guggenmon. I think this one is it's either nine inches or 12 inches. Let me double check. So yeah, these, these Guggenmon are 12 inches. And man, these are sick. I can't wait to get my uh, my glow in the dark one in because something about the super plastics, man, like those glows are insanely cool. Check this out. This colorway is the high voltage. This mask has like a little crack in the top. Pretty cool. These 12 inch ones, man, these are rad. I bought this one uh, off the like second hand, but it's still brand new and it has like all the plastic on it. Everything's wrapped up pretty cool. The details in this one are rad because it has like the cool little patches on the jacket. It's got like a black flag patch and like a, like a Wu-Tang one up there in the corner. The gorilla's down there. Pretty badass. The fuck off on the back is pretty sweet. And this one's hella punk rock and has a, it says guitar case, but we all know that is not a guitar case. Unless you're Gene Simmons, your guitars don't look like that. So when you open it up, oh, so cool. Has the ax on the inside. The details on these are insane because you can pull this axe out too. So fucking cool as the axe. And then it's like it got a cool little foam in there. So when you do keep it in there, it's in there nice and tight. It looks like it, it's kind of set up like a guitar case. It's pretty sweet. So then he's holding his guitar case in one hand and then his axe in the other. These things are fucking sick. Both of them together. So fucking rad. I'm excited to have all three of these guys together in one area along with my uh, three inch Guggenmon. Um, the purple, the, the I, I like to call it, or is I, I stole it from CS Miller, the Lakers colorway one and then just the pink and blue one. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Like I said, I'll have a video for you guys later this week where I show you how I decorate my house with these because I feel like the number one question I get asked is, what are you gonna do with all these? Like people in, in uh, you know, the FCS and other groups that I've been in on Facebook and stuff are always curious. Like, what are you gonna do with all of these super plastic um, vinyl figures? I'm like, trust me, I, I have places to put them. So <laughs> I'm excited to show you guys how I decorate the crib with them and give you guys close ups and everything so you guys can see all the cool little details about them. And man, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure you leave me a thumbs up down below. Uh, if you're brand new here, guys, hit the subscribe button and follow me on Instagram at Left Coast Collects. Follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Left Coast Collects. Follow my awesome wife at twitch.tv slash gothbosh. And follow the best toy content creators on the internet at the Funko Collector Society. And we will see you guys later on this week for another brand new video. Peace! Yeah. So many goddamn boxes.